If you haven't noticed the recent headlines about a global semiconductor or microchip shortage, chances are you'll feel it soon because these little things are often overlooked but do a lot of dirty work. Microchips are this year's toilet paper. St. Thomas professor Kyle Goldschmidt is a supply chain expert and says like toilet paper, microchips are needed everywhere. Small electronics, big home appliances, and even massive trucks need them. They also used to be abundant and cheap, but as with toilet paper, the pandemic changed that. Only this time, it's not us fighting in the aisles. It's businesses, it's companies. They're struggling to find microchips. Companies that can find them are hoarding them. Look no further than this interview setup. When the pandemic first hit, some companies anticipated the surge in work from home demand and home electronics. So Sony and Microsoft became the shoppers trying to fill their carts. Meanwhile, auto manufacturers were the ones watching from a distance because of shutdowns. Now, as we see the shift in automotive move back, uh, there just isn't the capacity available because these manufacturers allocated that capacity to other industries or other types of chips. And automakers aren't just looking for someone to spare a square or even two. A vehicle has about 3,000 of these chips in it. And so any one of them would stop the production of, of a vehicle. Ford and General Motors are sitting on thousands of trucks, cars, and SUVs that need chips for everything from radios and seats to smart mirrors and tailgates. So you might not be able to get a specific package or a specific uh, uh, component that you are interested in for that vehicle. Um, in addition to that, demand is high, supply is low, so dealerships can charge more. That's also driven up demand for used cars at a time when rental car companies are also desperately trying to replenish their fleets as post-pandemic travel heats up. So it's a good time to sell your car as long as you don't need to buy a car. That would be my advice. You drew the parallel to toilet paper, but we were able to just make a whole lot more toilet paper pretty quickly. How long do we expect something like this to last? Chip manufacturers are looking to increase their capacity, but the lead time to do that is pretty long. You know, even though Intel is investing $20 billion in a, uh, in a manufacturing campus in Arizona, that's likely at least two years away. And though the auto industry might recover a little faster, he says Apple is already pushing back shipment of the iPhone 12, and Samsung is warning about the future impact on smart appliances. Unlike toilet paper, where toilet paper is just toilet paper, you can't take an automotive chip and put it into uh, a television. Smart devices are everywhere. So chips are in everything, and it's going to impact us uh, in many ways that we didn't anticipate. And because this shortage is likely to impact everything from toys to even shipping logistics, Kyle says it's likely more important than ever to plan ahead if you're making purchases this year. You're less likely to find everything you need on the shelf or on demand online.